Hey guys, I Horror Movies here, and welcome back. Let's play Lunar 2 Eternal Moon Complete. In the last episode, we progressed through the White Dragon Cave and actually reached the end already. Got a few awesome treasure chests, and we are now fighting the White Fiend, the guardian of the, well, seal. And we've almost got him down, and we're actually going to take him out today. Um, shouldn't have that much HP left, if, like, well, barely any at all. And hopefully should be able to kill him, well, in this video, of course, but actually very, very soon. And once again, he's doing his attack boosting thingy, which actually I should probably dispel with Lumina's next turn. I didn't think of that. Well, actually, I did use Erase Magic, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I did. I hope so. Well, well, we'll find out anyway. Okay, just to reiterate from the last episode, strategy-wise, um, Saint Lenny on everybody first thing. Um, whenever you need to heal, go uh, Tranquil Lenny if you have it at level 34. Um, Lumina, uh, Power Flame on Hero first, and then um, Elemental... Uh, um, Erase magic when the elemental field is water element, and um, dispel magic when the fiend raises his stacks. So actually, I need to do that right now. So, um, yeah, actually, should probably just dis yeah dispel the stat altering spells first because that's and I think it's my opinion a little worse than the elemental field. But it matters not as we win an 11,000 experience points. Nicely done, team. Level 35. Actually, everyone should get a level at this point. 35 and 35. Well done, everybody. And with that, the first fiend is down, and not really that hard at all. And let's see, um, yep. Um, anything new for anybody and anything? No. Well, for Gene, actually, wanna, I want to take off the seal crest now, as we don't need that anymore, so don't worry about that. Now let's head on through here and see what's actually back here. Ooh, shiny. Reminds me of um, Soul Star Sword Completes, where, um, yeah, we meet the white giant in the first place. And, no, oh, hey, no. Um, no, we were fine. The fiend wasn't a problem. The dungeon was actually probably harder than the, dungeon, the uh, boss itself, in my opinion. And, oh yeah, oh, they have to throw the dragon order at the crystal. Alright, made sense. No, alright then. Um, Hero, what are you waiting for? Hopefully Hero has a good throwing arm. We've never actually really seen it yet. Yeah, no, you can just move out of the way. Thank you. And... Okay, what's gonna happen? So far, nothing. I'm disappointed. This game fails, and all you suck. Okay, a uh, big surprise. Uh, the flashing screen, ha haven't seen that before. Whoa, white dragon! That's pretty badass. And, yeah, Ruby's like, what? Well, yeah, it kind of looks like a wolf and a dragon. But, hey, a dragon's a dragon, so. Okay, yeah, makes sense. White for white, blue for blue, red for red, black for black, etc, 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 etc. Okay, well, now the blue dragon next. Alrighty, and Lund is guarding the aura at the training city of Horum to the south. Weighs treacherous while melting the icebergs blocking the routes. Oh, well, fantastic. But yeah, how is it treacherous? All there is is icebergs. There's no enemies on the ship. So, I don't know. Hey, he's less of a pain in the butt than you are. Oh, you'll be fine, Ruby. Anyway, we are fully healed, and also, we got the uh, white dragon crest, which I'll show off right now. Enables the uh, White Dragon Protect spell. This spell is borderline broken, really, because um, it nullifies, I believe, I know it nullifies all magical attacks, but I'm pretty sure it nullifies any physical attack on each character, like, once. So, for bosses later in the game that have attacked all spells that hurt like hell, that spell is unbelievably useful. So, later on in the game, I will be using that for certain. And unfortunately, we have to walk our way out. Wait a second, no, we don't. We have a state limit. Yeah, yeah, we're not watching all the way, I'm just kidding. Thankfully, yeah, we don't have to, just, well, we don't need to, so. And we are out, yay! And let's see, let's, make, let's backtrack back to the ship, and we will down, uh, go down to Horum. Finally, uh, the, or the first new talent is too, so you know what that means? New equipment! Yes! Thank God, our stuff's in a little outdated. Oh, yeah, a little bit. It's so disc one ago. And, yep. And, well, mostly supplies, not snacks. Alright then, actually, um, this spot right over here, remember this little area for later because a, a, a dungeon will open up later in the game that we can go to. So, just remember that for right now. Um, well, first things first, um, building down there, which we'll be going to a little while later, don't worry about that. And the blue dragon cave is right over here, which we're not going to yet. You actually can if you want to, I never have, but I don't see why not, so. And anyway, this is the Martial Arts City of Horum. Let's talk to this guy. Dude, give us the introduction. This is the, oh, the birthplace of the Blue Dragon Fist. Oh, this is a tournament. Oh, where at? Well, I, I want to go. We could probably enter, because we probably kick ass. 
Anyway, first things first, let's talk to the, all the uh, NPCs around here. And no, uh, there's some treasure around here, we need that too, so. Well, perhaps maybe we should train more. Well, yeah, training will help with that, so. And yeah, we were just told that. Sounds like fun. Not allowing any spectators? Well, that's a weird tournament. Hmm. Disappear without, without a trace? Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, wow, that's... I'm sorry to hear that. Well, hopefully the kid will turn up somewhere. Um, no chests in here, just people. Oh, another dojo. Ooh, pretty small for a dojo. Called Wind Karate. That actually sounds really, really lame. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're RPG characters, so of course we run everywhere. Oh, that's just great. So you're all a bunch of pansies. Uh, yeah. That's... Uh-huh. Yeah. You're a pussy. That's... I'm not even gonna mince words. You're a pussy. Anyway, let's uh, go up here to find a chest with a protection ring. Yay! Uh, what does that do? I actually forget. Protection ring increases wearer's defense. Um, that's actually a little bit worse than the endurance ring, because I actually think there's a certain uh, percentage that the endurance ring raises. Like, Ron Ford lowers it by three points, so... Um... Can I do it to Gene? Um, yeah, actually, that's a good idea over the Iron Claws because it increases the range, which isn't important, but eh, better than nothing. Anyway, always been a fan of Lun. Oh, oh, that's right, yeah, Lun is actually down here, so we'll, we'll be seeing him soon enough. What do you mean, no place to train? It's a martial arts city. I would think it is a good place to train. Oh, wait, what about Lun? Oh, okay, never mind then. Anyway, let's go in here. And just barge into people's houses, uh, of course. Mm, excuse me, just burp a little bit. It's, yeah, did not mean to do that. Or did I? Students of the Drunken Fist. Let me guess, Kyle is the master, is, is the, um, the sensei from, from Silver Star Story, right? In why have a drunken dojo when you, when you don't even drink? I don't know. Um, only pretend that we, yeah. What a great idea for a dojo, not. Um, yeah, I think you need Kyle to do it on this one, in my opinion. Surprised that he isn't even here, but, I eh, just not. Well, I guess it is a thousand years between games, so I guess it's kind of impossible. Oh, well. Okay, let's go up here and sneak past these training thingies for a life jewel. Yay! I like life jewels. Heal your HP, ain't can sell them for money. What? You can't go wrong. Heard the tale of why these ramparts were built around the, our town. Okay, well, that makes sense. Well, yeah, it's what they're meant for. No, oh, that's a... Oh, I, can't, I can't get down there, okay. I was going to say, that's a nice profound statement. I don't know if profound is the right word, but... Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Anyways, let's walk across the city borders and go down... Well, this way. Should be one more person down here for us to talk to, I'm pretty sure. Yep, right down here. Ah, stop yelling! Oh. Jeez. Okay, I'm, I'm going to pass on that. I am not a fan of heart, att uh, heart attacks. Uh, let's see, it's not the more people. And yeah, it sure seems like it. There's dojos like everywhere. Most of them suck, but you know, they're there. Oh, well, hey, that's pretty cool. I wonder if it actually works. Of bunny karate. So, what, there's Playboy karate? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm afraid not, buddy. Uh huh, that's just. Yeah, Playboy bunny reference in Lunar 2. I guess that's just great. Uh, you have fun with that. I'm gonna go buy a sword and chop your head off. Just you're stupid. Anyway, um, actually, I don't want to buy armor first. I want to go with weapons because weapons are awesome. Guaranteed to kill your money back. That's actually pretty awesome. Okay, anyway, platinum blade we already have, but more, more importantly, the samurai sword. Fight with honor. Raises agility by five. Lower speed by by five, but it's worth it for the attack bonus. So let's go ahead and equip that. See, yeah, we've needed some new weapons for a little while anyway, so... And for Ron Ford, the Flame Flail. Uh, Mighty Mace for Martial Artists. Nice oh, wow, nice attack boost by 22 points. Hot damn. Definitely want that. There you go, nice boost there. And install the Spirit Mace. There you go. And now we can buy armor, because it's shiny and effective. Uh, wait, what did you say? Um, purchase one of more durable defense items and protect yourself from a thrash chain. Now, after all, I can't master the martial arts when you're bleeding eternally. Not, yeah, eternally, that's just great. 
Well, that was a nice sales pitch. Right then, warrior shield for hero. I'm gonna do my usual buy one thing and put it sell it strategy thing. Because it's the best way to well, save money, I guess. Uh, let's see, bejeweled bracelets. Taste the rainbow. Nice Skittles reference game. They're real nice. Actually, no, it really is. Skittles are awesome, so. Let's see, jewel gauntlet. We already have some of these. Um, warrior armor, heavy duty and dent resistant. Definitely want that. Uh, let's see, okay, so that I'm a master of keyboard playing this game, you don't even know. Holy clothes, these reflect a, a priest virtue, definitely want those. Yeah, I'm just going through this, guys, I'm going through this so fast you don't even know, it's, it's ridiculous, I'm telling you. Okay, anyway, the immortal, immortal robe magically boosts defense because it's a robe, so it does that. Hopefully I'm not going too fast for anybody. If I am, well, <laughs> oh well. See, warrior helm, full head protection, definitely want that. Pretty much, you dead, dead down and everything, that's the best thing to do. Because I have all the silver from the White Dragon Cave, so it's highly recommended you buy everything here. Let's see, and what do we have next? The prayer bandana, we actually do want that, because, well, luck is not really that great. So, I get rid of that, for nice defense boost for Ron Far. Get rid of the safety helm, because it looks ridiculous. And the ritual hairpin, which you actually really don't need right now, I'm not, not really gonna bother. Uh, nothing else to sell uh, besides well the snake ring and um, get rid of the iron plots too. Don't really need those anymore. And we're good to go. Took a little longer than I would like, but I had fun buying stuff. Hope you guys, hope you guys did too. So um, let's see, where else can we go? Well, let's go in here. Um, another dojo. Oh, there's stairs. I'll talk to these guys in a second. Actually, want to go up here first and get this chest for some pajamas. What? Why are these? These are armor, aren't they? Well, I mean, I know that. They have shit for defense. Um, what's the description say? Um, recover lost HP while you sleep. So it actually should be kind of useful. The defense didn't suck. Okay, these are kind of just like a gimmick item, really, just kind of for fun, so. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, hey, you gotta do what you're told to do, and, and well, yeah. Oh, well, hey. Good food is, well, good food. So, people like good food. Nothing wrong with that. Um, oh, another subscriber. Yay. Anyway, I want to talk to these people down here first. I want so much fun exploring this town. Just every town in general just tells the people are so fun and interesting to talk to. So, plus the music here is awesome too. It's nice and catchy. And of course, it, it perfectly fits the area too, as all good music should. Um, I highly doubt that. And, yeah. Uh-huh, you guys are pathetic. Pretty much every dojo here sucks. Is that that bunny one? That just sounds pretty good. <laughs> anyway, let's get out of here and talk to this guy out here like we wanted to do earlier. Oh yeah, when was the town found anyway? Well, I assume many, many years ago. Alright then, um, wow, there's a lot of people to talk to here. Oh, yeah, that made sense. Well, why aren't you just a whore? Um, I guess Ron Fark could work, yeah. I guess it's better than nothing. Well, yeah, I, I would say so, but Gene ain't too happy about that. Hmm, interesting. Oh, they won't let you enroll, because you're... Oh, well, that's kind of unfair, because you are a kid, so it doesn't make sense. Uh, haven't I already talked to these guys out here? Um, yeah, I'm actually pretty sure I have. Oh, uh, this guy I have not talked to yet. Dojo, the Blue Dragon Fist, the actually the only dojo here that actually means is, like only mean something of that. That the only dojo here that actually means something. That's what I was trying to say, but it didn't quite work. See, so this should be the last guy I talked to. Um, he's, what are you, a British guard? Um, I I guess so. Anyway, one more chest up here for Nerb. Why this? I, why now? At this point in the game? Oh well, that's everything we need to do around here in the outside of the town. Let's talk up to this guy right here. Greatest of all the martial arts. Ooh, sounds like fun. Are you kind of stupid? How dare you, sir? Speed with Wan Lee. Okay, well, it's not the plan, but we'll have to do that next time on Let's Play Lunar 2 Eternal Blue Complete. This has been Iron Movie Sign Off, guys. Have a nice day, and thanks for watching.